guys, welcome back to my latest video. This is Crosby. He's from The Nomad Nurse, which is his YouTube channel. So I will have the link down below for you to check it out. But basically, like, sum up what you do on your on your channel so that right. people... Right. Uh, so, so on my channel, basically what I do, and I talked about it in my last video, was I do a mixture of travel, travel videos, like travel nursing videos. Um, I do a mixture of uh, nursing advice and basically daily vlogging. So I kind of put it all into one thing. Even though it's called the Nomad Nurse, I just kind of do everything on there. But there's always something to do with nursing, uh, nursing-based videos. Yeah, and he's a travel nurse, and he came down to Arizona to visit, so he's been visiting, and we've been having fun. And we wanted to do kind of like a funny style video for you guys. Um, I'm an ICU nurse, as most of you know. Crosby's an ER nurse. Yes. And just like getting to talk over these past couple weeks, like we've been talking about like the differences of ER nursing versus ICU nursing, and we kind of wanted to like make a video, make fun of it in a way, but you know, no one yeah, yeah. don't get offended. We just, <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not directly talking to anybody when we say this stuff. It's just some little little things that we notice. Yeah, so I think the most obvious we've both said is like personality wise, <laughs> ER nurses are very like. Disorganized. <laughs> Very disorganized, and um, Fly ICU. Your pants. Yeah, and, and ICU are definitely OCD. They have problems. <laughs> um, and I uh, think it's a good problem. Now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and, and here in Ashley's house, you definitely, definitely know how OCD she really is. And like, just to give an idea, I even wrote down like video ideas and things that like <laughs> to plan for this. But like, have you ever seen that picture on? Um, the social media like that it's all the wires and it says like oh ER yeah, nurses yeah, yeah and yeah. ic nurses and the ic one it's like everything's straight and organized yeah. and er just like super just, tangly. yeah that's a perfect perfect representation yeah I it think is it's but i i think that both i mean obviously like that's the personality type that usually suits well for that environment right. so like there's nothing against being more kind of fly by the seat of your pants or organized well, yeah no yeah absolutely i mean you can't you can't have like you can't have that type of mentality like in the ER and go mm -hmm. to the ICU or vice versa. Yeah. Like you can't, you can't do it. Yeah. And like you guys are more, for people that don't know, like you're more focused on um, like the main issue. Someone comes with chest yeah. pain, yeah, you're yeah. focused on chest pain. Right. Whereas in the yeah. ICU, like you're literally focused on anything. It doesn't matter if you come in with pneumonia, like I'm still concerned about your kidneys and your liver. Like <laughs> I'm looking at everything every single day. Right. Tabs and trends and stuff. And you guys are like, come We're in. like, we're like. Treat what we need to either get you out or admit you, and like yeah. that's our that's how we look at you know all of our patients really. It's like what can we do to fix you, or what can we do to get you out of here? I mean because you know that's what ER is is that you know we we either treat you and get you home, or you're going to be admitted to the hospital. Yeah, treat and street. Treat and street. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. So I think this is kind of a funny question, but like, what's your biggest pet peeve of ICU nurses? Like. Oh man! You can, you oh, oh! I can go. <laughs> I can go all day. And on I know this you one. have to have some. Mm. When you give report to ICU nurses, I've heard a lot of things where like ER nurses get frustrated when they ask certain questions. Well, yeah, yeah, because like I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to get people out of there, and like we have a waiting room full of eight, ten people, or however many. You know what? An ICU nurse wants to sit there and try to uh, find out every every little detail. I'm like, it's all in the report. Here you go. When I when I call for report, I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know what's what's going on? Here's what's wrong with them. You look at the notes. This is it. Like this is the medicines they have. And then the ICU nurse is like, "Well, what was this running at? Or what did?" And I'm like, "Oh God, just <laughs> take the patient from me, please." But um, but yeah, you know that's that's pretty much my pet peeve is like all the questions that that you guys ask. I feel like and. Uh It'd be funny if, like, we ever, you had to, I was going to say, I wouldn't give you a report, but <laughs> right, that'd right, be going right. better if you ever gave me a report, if you could, like, I don't know, because I, I feel like, personally, like, I have this mentality, and it doesn't matter if I'm getting a patient from the ER or, like, a rapid response from a different floor, like, right. I would rather, like, some ICU nurses will be like, wait, my room's not ready, I need to get my stuff, or, like, wait, I, I'm too busy, I'm with my other patient. Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. I know what my biggest pet peeve is, now that you just said that, that just, that just reminded me. My big biggest pet peeve is when I take the patient upstairs and the room is not ready. Or they have like they'll have like the IV pole in the desk. I'm like, pull pull the dang bed out, have it ready, and like there's nothing ready in there. That's that is my biggest pet peeve for sure. <laughs> I will say like I'm the type of person that's like I would rather 
just take report and not delay the process any longer and get the patient up there because like at the end of the day like a patient on a telefloor floor that's like going downhill needs to be in the ICU or a patient yeah. in the ER when you've got three or four ICU status patients and you're busy like it's safe for them to get up to the ICU and you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I try yeah. to always have my stuff ready, but it just... Kind I mean, of, it, it and honestly, it's, really, it's not really as much ICU as it's all, like, just taking... You, you can get a med surge or cardi the CPU, cardiac progressive unit. Mm -hmm. it, any, anybody is just, um, you know, I mean, nurses get extremely busy yeah. at the end of the day. And, like, they're just, you know, you can't do it all. And, like, I just look at it from my perspective is like, and it, it's very selfish. I'm like, I want to take this patient upstairs, mm -hmm. get them there, and then go down, and I got other patients to worry about. Yeah. So. No, I get it. I think... I was thinking about this, like what my biggest pet peeve would be of ER nurses, and like, I don't want to say I don't have any, but I feel like mine would be, and this is just like, I understand this is not like a part of like your job, but like when patients come up and they're just like saturated dirty, like they're just oh, sitting in yeah. feces or sitting in urine, and like yeah. you automatically have like a big task to do, and which I understand like that's not like your guys' priority in the ER, so I get it, and I just take it with whatever it is. But if in my perfect world, you guys would come up and your lines well, would be labeled and your sheets would be consistent. Yeah, <laughs> you know, honestly, like when I take a patient up, if if something if they're soiled or something like that, mm -hmm. I always try to make sure, it, 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 unless something's happened on the way up. Yeah. Like I have it like. It always happens on the way up. Yeah, it always happens on the way up. <laughs> exactly. But uh, I do try to keep it like clean, like before. I mean, that's just if somebody did that to me, I'd probably call them and be like, "All right, what's why'd you do this?" You know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it happens. I mean, I would definitely say I try to do that. I try to make sure, but like you yeah. said, it always happens on the way up. Yeah. And like, I think that if you take anything from this video, whether you just laugh or whatever, it's just like both roles are super important. It's a super important yeah. part, important part of the process for a patient coming into the hospital. And like, I think some people think there comes this like negative stereotype between ER and ICU nurses where people are like... I don't like ER nurses, they do this, or I don't like ICU nurses because they're this way, but like when it comes down to it, like we're both super important. I don't like ER process. nurses and I am an ER nurse. <laughs> you don't like anyone. <laughs> no, nah, I hate everybody. <laughs> so like, just like understanding that it's both, yeah, both, yeah. both roles are important and then like I respect your role and you respect my Absolutely. role and all is well in this world. Yes. Preach. Anyways, got anything else to add? Nope. All right. Make sure you check out <laughs> Crosby's channel, The Nomad Nurse, because he's going to be doing videos and vlogs yes. from this trip, and he also has a lot of other great content out there. Yeah, yeah, and I'm about to drive across the country, and I'm going to be vlogging pretty much every day, show you all the setup. Um, I don't know. It's so hot down here, so I can't. I haven't been. <laughs> sleeping in the Jeep is... Um, it's different when it's extremely hot, and uh, so I don't know how that's going to work yet. You guys follow me. We'll figure something out. Make it sound like you're sleeping in the Jeep here. He's no. in the driveway sleeping in his Jeep. No, no, no they actually let me stay here in a <laughs> bed, in a bed with air conditioning. And you have a fan. Yeah, and I have a fan. And we feed you. Yes, you did. <laughs> and got me drunk. Yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. Yeah, it is. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in, well, we, I will see you in my next video. Bye.